Hey everyone, so not too long ago, the trailer for Sonic Origins was just released, showing out the first four mainline Sonic games all bundled up in one package. The trailer also showed off some really cool animation, which I pray we get an animated series of in this style. The games in this collection in particular are Sonic 1, Sonic CD, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3, and Knuckles. We're finally getting both three Knuckles games together, which is kind of an accomplishment to be honest. Not only that, you have the option of playing as either Tails or Knuckles, all kind of new modes and missions, and it's only $40. Looks pretty good, right? Yes! Well, sadly, it's not all great as it seems. <laughs> oh, you got! Yep, a bunch of content is locked behind paid DLC. So, there's both good and bad in all this. So, let's talk about that. Let's start with the good. The stuff everyone likes, such as the animation, which looks really good and really stylized. They remind me a lot of the animations done for Sonic Mania, and these are presumably going to be cutscenes in the collection, so the fact that we're going to be seeing these in-game is something I'm really excited about. What also looks great is the games themselves, which look absolutely incredible. Like, they remind me a lot of the mole ports of the classic Sonic games, which are some of, if not the best ports of those games, which makes sense given that Christian Whitehead, who worked on those ports, is going to be working on Origins as well. They can also be played in either Classic Mode or Anniversary Mode. Classic Mode is for people who want the true experience of playing them on Genesis, while Anniversary is played in widescreen and gives you infinite lives, which is great if you die a lot, kind of like me. You can also play new missions and collect these things called coins, <laughs> which can be used to get new content from the museum section. And like I mentioned earlier, Sonic's not the only playable character. You can also play as Tails and Knuckles if you want to, much like in the mobile parts. So there appears to be plenty of good in this overall package many more I forgot to mention, but hey, whatever, I guess. There are still problems with it. Not a lot of problems, but problems nonetheless, which is what we're going to be talking about right up next. <laughs> okay, now onto the stuff that everyone did not like, in particular the DLC content. Now, the general game itself is only about $40. That's good! But if you want to unlock everything the game has to offer, you're gonna have to get the three expansion packs, which are all stuck behind a paywall. That's bad. One of them in particular is the classic music pack, which lets you listen to an extra 73 tracks from other older Sonic titles, such as Spinball or 3D Blast, for example. While the air packs add things such as additional animations, borders, and more. It's unknown how much the DLC is at the moment, but I've heard speculation that because the digital deluxe edition is only about five bones more than the regular game, that's probably what the DLC will go up to, only about five bones. So, honestly, I have no clue at this point, but I anticipate that it will be at a low price. Another not-so-good thing about this game is that apparently, pretty soon, Sega is going to be delisting all the digital versions of the Classic Sonic games. Oh my god. So, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not good. So, unless you have a physical version of these games on hand, yeah, you're, you're, you're kind of screwed until Origins comes out. Okay, now this is just what I'm hoping for this game. One thing I'm hoping for is possibly getting Amy as a playable character. It's only rumored at the moment, but she's shown pretty prominently in the trailer, so I wouldn't be surprised if it happened. If I had to guess, I'd say we might be able to play as her if you beat CD, then you could unlock her. Another thing I want out of this is a physical release of the game, because as of writing this, no physical version has been announced. Hoping we get this because I personally prefer getting my games physically, and I'm pretty sure there is one plan, heck, Sonic Mania didn't get a physical release until later down the road, so it'll mostly happen for this game too. I'll still buy Origins regardless, no duh, once it comes out, but a physical release would still be nice. All in all, Sonic Origins still looks incredible. A few flaws obviously won't be enough to make me not want to get it. I'd still be fine with just the standard game, even without the DLC. I mean, it's not like Sega can make the whole thing even worse. 